we cannot be metacognitive or explicitly aware of the mental process that corresponds to our liver function. There are no correlates of metaconsciousness uh, uh, with liver function. They are all in the brain. But there is a mental process somewhere in your altar, even though you cannot report it to yourself, that does correspond to your liver function. We may call it highly repressed emotions, you know, you know the deeply ingrained in their life that we cannot access with the light of introspection, but it is there. You are feeling it at some level. If that's the case, it opens a second avenue for medicine and healthcare, which is how to treat bodily conditions, not only from a third person perspective, that is drugs and surgery, but also from a first person perspective, there is therapy introspection, meditation, or talk therapy like depth psychology has been doing forever. Uh, we know that there, we know empirically that, that empirically that there is a degree of connection between our mental states and our physiology that goes beyond what we would consider reasonable under normal vanilla uh, physicalism. It's uncanny, the relationship between our inner life, particularly the repressed inner life, the inner life that we cannot report to ourselves, the relationship between that and our physical condition. There have been papers published in the past um, linking cancer to people who don't report anger. So people who have very low reporting of anger uh, have a statistically higher occurrence of, of cancer. And the researchers themselves concluded this is repressed anger because it is impossible for a human being in our society today to not feel angry. I mean, we have a million reasons to feel angry every moment of the day. People who, well, I never feel angry. Uh, there is anger. It's just that that anger sunk so deep, so deep, so far beyond uh, the level of introspection that it's somatized. Uh, and maybe through therapy, we can bring these things into the light of metacognition. You know, feel the feeling, feel the anger, know that you are angry. Uh, and then it's here and not in your liver, not in your kidneys, not somewhere where it's going to kill you, to only make you feel bad and want to die, but it will not, <laughs> it will not kill you. So it opens a whole new avenue for healthcare, another enormous uh, um, practical application of idealism. So if you enjoy these discussions and you want to join us, discuss these with Bernardo Kastrup and quite an amazing community of meditators, mystics, philosophers, scientists, and simply ordinary people who are very curious about reality. You can find us in the links below or at adventuresinawareness.com. You can also hugely support this channel by hitting like, subscribing, and sharing your thoughts, questions, and reflections in the comments section below.